I can feel the ice in their veins. Welcome everyone to a brand new Freelancer Spotlight, taking a look at the brand new firepower Von the Scion of Ice. And we're going to talk about his abilities as well as to show off his unique arsenal of ice and support abilities. So just like the other videos, we're going to do a practice match. I'm going to show you how they work. But this time in other videos, I didn't show the, the freelancers' ranges of their attacks. Vaughn will be a little bit different. So starting off with this first ability is called Icebreaker. Launch an icy spike dealing 30 direct damage and inflicting your target with a crowd core. Cryo cores last one turn and are detonated by direct damage to the target, dealing, dealing 7 damage to the target, and as an enemy's detonated, cryo cores grant 2 energy, gain 10 energy on hit. So we'll talk about cryo cores when we get into the game later on, but for now, his ability is that we talk about now. His second ability is Cold Snap, and this one kind of helps move that ability along. Grant a freezing aura to Vaughn or an ally. If the target is hit with direct damage, the enemy that attacked them takes 5 damage and is afflicted with a cryo core. So it's kind of like a reactive type of ability that if they do take damage, the enemy will take a cryo core as well as 5 damage on top of it. Kind of a small ability, though it could be useful for because it's a free action. His third ability we're going to be talking about is called Arctic Blast. And quite honestly, before this, I had actually used this ability, and it's very, very large. Fires a gale of ice shards, dealing 25 direct damage and slowing enemies. Gain 6 energy per target hit. When we get into the game, I'll be showing you how big it actually is, and it's quite useful. His fourth ability, Ice Aegis, create an icy shell that grants 60 shields and slows nearby enemies. This ability allows full movement. One of the things I want to let you know is that this ability does not give you gain of any energy whatsoever. I've tried that earlier, and it was kind of odd to me. But, I mean, it could be like Juno. I'm not sure if she gives you energy if you use her uh, riot gear or riot shield. His ultimate, Polar Vortex, summon a raging blizzard that deals 30 direct damage and slows enemies. The blizzard lasts two turns but deals 15 damage on the second turn. It can be moved on the second turn as a free action. Alright, so here is how this is going to work. Vaughn the Scion of Ice has a pretty nice passive ability. That is Cryocore. Now, in Atlas Reactor, how it works is that you're doing damage, or doing the highest amount of damage as fast as possible, without dying, as well as helping out your teammates without dying. The first two teams... To get to 5 wins the game, or anybody with the highest amount of kills wins the game. A lot of people know this. Von the Scion of Ice, as far as I'm concerned, does quite a lot of damage as well as slowing people. This can impede the enemy's process from stopping them from killing your allies, as well as making them have, or really rather, use resources to get better positions in the battlefield. The other thing I want to point out too is that his icebreaker ability is about roughly between 7 to 8, maybe even 9 diagonally of range for on the grid. I was messing around with this earlier, and though his icebreaker does seem like it might pierce, it only hits the first target. So if his mods do allow for piercing, maybe that's something I'll check on later on. But as far as I'm concerned, it does look like he might pierce somebody, but it only hits the first target. His cold snap ability is just a free action, which you can use that and use another ability with it. When somebody hits them, for the example, when this fodder bot hits the other one that has the cold snap ability, I am pretty sure, I'm going to say about 75% certain, that when this bot or if a player or even another bot gets hit by that specific bot that has cold snap on it, they all take damage. So anybody that targets that specific bot or person or freelancer in general, they take 5 damage as well as taking a cryo core, or whatever damage it is. And this is his his uh, arcing type of attack, and that is called Arctic Blast. The range on that thing is quite huge. So from, from him, from where Vaughn is standing around, it's roughly between 8 to 10 range. So 
quite honestly, he could hit pre people from pretty far. I'm not going to say it's like Zuki's ultimate far, but it's pretty far nonetheless to allow for slowing of multiple targets that could be kiting, could be chasing, could be doing really roughly anything else. So, I mean, that is still quite useful, especially if you put mods on top of his, uh, his uh, Arctic Blast. His fourth ability you're about to see here, which is his Ice Aegis, and it creates an icy, icy shell for 60 shield and slows enemies. So if you're trying to run away, say for example a Titus or a Pup or a Kaigan are trying to come after you, they hit you for, let's say for about the 60 damage or maybe more, 70 damage. So you only take 10 or you might take none at all. However, if you put haste on him or if you put or you get the haste bubble, or you slow them, and you just do your, obviously, second action. I mean, you can get away from them pretty easily, as well as have a shield. So that ability is quite useful against getting away from other people. He might not have a dash, but that shield protects him for quite a lot of damage. 60 is nothing to scoff at. 40, or 40, between 40 to 45 for Juno, it's pretty big too, but 60? I mean, he could absorb a full damage thing from Zuki for her ultimate, or even Nyx if he had a full uh, full might on him. And this is his ultimate. I want to talk about his ultimate as well, which is pretty far, judging by the distance of it, from him to anywhere else on the field. It's a 4x4 four four square that goes roughly around 8 to possibly 10 for range, maybe, and or even farther than that. But his ability on that thing is pretty fun to look at. It reminds me of another game called Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun. Because it reminds me of the super weapon called the Ion Cannon. Though this is just ice and it makes a gale of ice when it's summoned on the battlefield. And it does 30 damage directly when you put it on the, uh, the field itself. So that's his Polar Vortex. Now his second turn that he does this will do 15 damage, and it could also go any, it's a short distance, think of Gray's Hawk Drone, except it's just a tornado of ice, and because it's a free action, you could use Cold Snap, and his primary Icebreaker, or even his, uh, his Arctic Blast, that could slow people to stop them from chasing your own allies. And quite honestly, guys, if you keep doing the stuff that you're doing with uh, Bond right here, the damage adds up. It's a crazy amount. And putting and that's just with default. If it was with mods, I can't imagine the amount of damage he can inflict on the battlefield. But anyway, guys, this is Vaughn, the Scion of Ice, Freelancer Spotlight. If you like the video, give it a like. If not, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm punching you out. See you later, guys.